Glad to be back. I'm never sure. When I'm in London, I long for Yorkshire, and when I'm here, I ache to hear my heels clicking on the pavement. I'd forgotten about this nightmare concert. Why didn't you warn me I'd have come back tomorrow? But you'd have missed Matthew. I was going to tell you, Matthew's on leave and he's in the village, so Papa and I thought it would be a good time to mend our fences. He's coming tonight with Isabel. And his fiance. What? Edith, I don't know how helpful you're being. Matthew's engaged. He's brought her to Downton to meet his mother. Well, how marvellous. You don't mind? Why should I? We're not going to marry, but I don't want him to spend the rest of his life in a cave. Exactly what Papa and I feel. Please try to be happy for him. Of course I'm happy. Good luck to him. Anyway, there's someone I want you all to meet. Have you ever come across Richard Carlyle? Sir Richard Carlyle. The one with all those horrid newspapers. We met at Cliveden. <laughs> but how old is he? Old enough not to ask stupid questions. Anyway, I can't wait for you to know him. If only Papa hadn't closed down the chute. Most people have stopped shooting now that the war's on. But I'm sure Papa would be happy to have Sir Richard come and stay. Are you? I shouldn't have thought he was Papa's type at all. You coming? I'll be down in a minute. Are you all right, milady? Oh, Anna. It's awfully grand. You'd better get used to it. It'll be your home one day. I'm not sure home would ever be quite the way to describe it. My dear fellow, welcome back. It's so very good to see you. May I present Miss Lavinia Swire? How do you do, Lord Grantham? How do you do, Miss Swire? So, that's Mary's replacement. Well, I suppose looks aren't everything. I think she seems rather sweet. I'm afraid meeting us all together must be very intimidating. I do hope so. Yes. You are. I mean, I've been longing to meet you because I've heard so much about you from Matthew. Oh, that is nice things, I hope. What else would she hear from me? Please. I can't say. It's been such a long time. Who knows what you think of me now? I think I'm very glad to see you looking so well. All right, you win. We are at peace again. Not, but he seems to think so. What's it been like? You know, the thing is, I just can't talk about it. Have you missed us? What do you think? You don't mind my bringing Lavinia? On the contrary. I'm glad. Glad to see you happy. What about you? You happy? 
I think I'm about to be happy. Does that count? Does if you mean it. You'll be the first to know. She has plenty of time to learn. Cousin Robert will be in charge here for many years. Lavinia will be a lawyer's wife far longer than she'll be a countess. That's if I get through the war in one piece. Of course you will. Don't even think like that. How long are you staying in the village? Just tomorrow. I take the six o'clock train on Thursday. And then you'll be in France? Wherever I'm going. I'm so pleased that we're friends again. to undo your good work of the other night. You must have been up before the servants. They were rather surprised to see me. I wanted to give you this. It's my lucky charm. I've had it always. So you must promise to bring it back without a scratch. Won't you need it? Not as much as you. So look after it, please. Try not to be a hero if that's what you're afraid of. Just come back safe and sound. Did you have a happy time yesterday? Showed Lavinia the places I liked most. Give her a few memories. Mary, if I don't come back... No, if I don't, then do remember how very glad I am that we made up when we had the chance. I mean it. You send me off to war a happy man. Will you do something for me? Will you... Will you look after Mother? If anything happens? Of course we will. But it won't. And Lavinia. If she's young, she'll find someone else. I hope she does anyway. But... Until she does. Goodbye, then. And such good luck. Goodbye, Mary. And God bless you. 